I went to Walmart and I took some footage while I was there of different items that might be good uh, that I've tried before and then I've got some funny little things going on in there of course you always see weird things at Walmart um, so I'm going to show you those before I show you what I got so let's go here's a metal four inch USB fan 548 yay here's a rechargeable USB fan upright 988. Here's a ventilator metal USB fan 548. Here's one of those solar lights like I have um, that I put under my car near the engine when I'm boondocking. It's the same thing. This one's 1494 and it's light censored solar. Five gallon solar shower. Eight. 97. These are the weights I have for 34 a piece. Flat bands for exercise. 9.97. Robots. <laughs> Cleaning floor. They've done away with the person who rides the floor cleaner. <laughs> One more. One more uh, job eliminated. <laughs> Non-slip material, easy liner, 496. It wants to come down here. Oh, do you think it will? Or is it, does it sense me? <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, here it comes. It's coming for me. <laughs> well, what's it going to do? Is it going to hit my cart? Oh, my gosh. Let's see. Will it stop? It stopped. No, it's gonna. Oh, no, it's gonna turn. <laughs> oh, this is good footage. Turn around and go away. I'm shopping. <laughs> Bye. Decided to go down another aisle. Well, I did want to show you this. These, this is what I buy for pee bottles. Right here. And it's very durable. And it's 367. There it is. Or you can get the shorter one. 267. What's funny is that it actually obeyed the sign to go that way. It didn't go down the red one. How funny. Yeah, they have the emergency. It's raspberry. 997. This is a lifetime cooler, um, ice chest, and it is, it does not keep ice at all. Here's a six pack of eggs for 79 cents. This is the water that I get, it's 80 cents. I used to get these all the time, and look, it's on sale for $1.25, I think I might get it. Yeah. Well, here they are, <laughs> 344. <laughs> I remember, oh, you know, I used to, my mom used to buy this. Oh, this is so good. What is it? 313. There's all your soups. I'm going to get some soup. Oh, yeah. Cans of chicken, 98 cents. I tried this before. It's roast beef in a can. It's uh, 428. There's no flip top. You need a can opener. There's your other canned meats. Spam. And then you can also get the premium white chicken. Um, looks like it's 118. That's pretty good, but actually this is like real ground up. This is more for like it's real shredded. These are good. They're 368. You get four of them. It's a little bit spicy for me. And then you can also get two salsas and two cheeses for $2.68. I used to get the Ranch Hidden Valley Dipping Cups. You get eight cups. But look at that price. It's $4.26. Well, this is in the um, Walmart parking lot. They've got roses. 
they've literally got roses. <laughs> wow. Way to go, Walmart. Want to smell? <laughs> hey, everyone. Well, I already did a video that showed what I bought, but um, my microphone decided to be crackly. So I'm going to show you again. Okay, I'm just going to hold everything up because I did get quite a bit. I bought those. Raspberry Emergency. Canned chicken, 98 cents. I got six cans. Glad I didn't put it away and I checked on my video. Chicken and dumpling soup. It's great value. This was only like 78 cents. Flip top. Organic lentil soup. Um, flip top. And it was the same price as non-organic. So that's what I got. These are these um, sliced potatoes I was telling you about yesterday. Um, this one has a flip top. This is sliced. These are those new potatoes. They're whole. This is so good. And uh, they're peeled and they're in water and uh, just drain the water. And they'll flip top though. I have to get my can opener up for that. Campbell's Classic Chicken Noodle Soup. More salsa. More um, caramel coffee flavor. Regular chips. I know, great value too. Mm. But it uh, just sounded good. Street flour tor uh, tortillas. Flour tortillas. They're real small. Seven honey crisp apples. Tall baggies. I got um, the good premium uh, kind. I didn't want to get great value. Sometimes I found them not to be as best. And I wanted uh, regular saltines for my soups. So there you go. I know I wanted, yesterday I was going to make tomato soup. And you just have to have crackers with it. So there you go. Or at least I do. I see. Eight in there. Oh, somebody's got their bed. Um, gallon uh, slider uh, baggies. 48 cents. I just needed a little one. Extra sharp cheese. Swiss cheese. Uh-oh. <laughs> I won't open it right away. I talked about my cashews. I got cashews. I got an onion. Four limes, three Roma tomatoes. I got two of these, just show you one. And I got three avocados. I got two hard and one soft, so the soft one I can eat today. What else did I get? Oh, I put it away. I got two of the Ricos. Put those away. I got some mandarin and jello. And I got some um, jello. Little packs. Little packs of jello. It's in here. And I got some tissue. Let's see, did I get anything else? That's it. Okay, so I hope you guys have a really good day. I'm at the laundromat. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> I know. Well, I walked in and it said dryers free every Thursday. Today's Thursday. <laughs> Who knew? My lucky day. I mean, yeah. Hey, it's a savings of probably about three bucks. So, getting everything washed. And then I'm going to go wash my home i call them home i call it home <laughs> so my clothes are in the dryer 
for free. <laughs> I'll take you with me today. So it has been a very, very busy day today. I did go get my um, minivan washed. <laughs> um, I have yet to find a good car wash in this area. What's up with that? This one, okay, I pulled in, so I'm going to try another one because the last two <laughs> didn't turn out so good. Okay, so I went to another one, and I pulled it in, and the coin thing wouldn't work. It was like the, the coin thing was bent, so I couldn't get any coins in it, and I thought, uh-oh, I ain't playing this game because there was a thing, place for me to swipe my card. Oh, not falling for this one. So I thought, well, maybe it's just that one. So I went around to another um, I pulled into one right beside it and went to check on the coins. Okay, the coins went in. Didn't even notice it down below. Uh, well, first of all, it was $3. $3? I mean, in Tucson, Ohio, all other places I've been to, you can pretty, well, you can pretty much get a car wash to start for $1.50 or $1.75. Three dollars to start, and I'm not getting any more time. So um, I'm thinking these people. No wonder they're all homeless <laughs> here in this area. They're just ripping them off right and left. No, seriously. I mean, okay, that yeah. There are a lot of homeless people here. There really are. I don't know what's been happening <laughs> here in Reno area. So anyway, so then I put the money in. Oh, barely any pressure coming out. And then somebody, it was clogged up. Somebody had dumped, I mean, you could see it was green. You know what green is. I mean, it's antifreeze. Stepped right in it with my nice REI shoes. <laughs> Got on my socks. I thought, so I'd already put my money in. I had to kind of step it over it. I had to almost like, yeah, it was really hard getting inside my van when it was over. Yeah. So I don't know. I'm going to try another one. I'll keep you posted if I find a good one. Because that's something really important to me, finding a car wash in a town. Because I wash my minivan every week, at least once a week. In fact, it's funny, too, when I'm parked at a, a, a park or whatever, that's one of the things that after I, like, um, do my little cleaning for the day, and I, I uh, shake out my rugs or whatever, I go around and I wash my windows, you know. So, yeah, uh, yeah, I, take, I, I like to keep it clean. So that's what I did. <laughs> yeah. So after that, um, after that, I pulled into another, the one that didn't work, and I pulled into that one because it was dry. So, and I wanted to wipe down um, all my windows with um, my microfiber thing for my car. And I like to wipe um, the outside of my minivan too, not just the windows, but the whole thing. Um, actually the, the rag didn't come out too dirty, so it must have had some pressure, but it just seemed like it wasn't, um, didn't have much pressure. So yeah, I'll keep looking, <laughs> I'll keep looking for another one. I uh, see. Then what happened? Then I came to, um, another, the park that I really like, um, not the one with all the people in it. I'm kind of done with that one. Yeah. Uh, I'm getting more done, you know, this chit chatting and socializing and everything. I'd rather, I got to get things done because I'm going to be leaving here in a couple of days. I want to get things finished. So, um, came in here and it took a while. I had to put down, I actually put down different blanket down here. I'm a little bit more instead of blue and purple <laughs> on the bottom. Oh yeah. Hey, you got to switch it up, man. You got to switch it up. I know. Sometimes I'm so silly in it. <laughs> This is, it's like, oh, I got, you know, like I've redecorated, you know. Um, and then I ate lunch. Uh, I just, I did, you sh I showed that I got, um, well, I ate a cucumber, the whole thing. And a uh, apple and a tomato and um, avocado. I just needed the, um, the produce. I need the fresh, the um, uncooked uh, raw foods. Yeah, they're really good for you. I did read way back that it said that you really should do 50-50. 50% of your food should be raw and the other 50 can be cooked. If you're just eating all cooked foods and no raw foods, your body will kind of revolt on that. So, um, yeah, I, I like to eat the raw foods. So, let's see. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> spooky. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, what time is it? It's, um, <clears throat> oh, it's a quarter after four. So I still have a little bit of time. It's warm today. It actually is warm. Oh, I need to wet this down a little bit. Well, let me just do it right here. Yeah. I was say, got my five-year guarantee. Yeah, let me get this. Ah. Yeah, spray this down. my sleeves up. I haven't been wearing these much and I don't have the same um I haven't been bumping them as much but I want to um keep it that way. I want to keep it that way yeah. There we go. Got shorts on today. Yeah it's warm out today. Okay so um yeah it's getting really hot here and you know I mean, who knows? I might end up going up to, you know, where? Probably don't. <laughs> You're going where? Um, Seattle. Yeah, I might go. I might show. If it gets really hot here in this area in, in northern Nevada, I might end up going back up to, um, or going back. I've never been to Seattle, so it'll be fun. Um, but the one guy that I met at the park, and he got here like a day after I did, just got here from, um, and he travels, he just got here from Montana. So his name's Bill, cool guy. And um, we had a lot of fun. He's the only one I really kind of miss at the at the park. But, uh, hey Bill, but he's, <laughs> he's never going to see this because he is not tacky whatsoever. He's still using a flip phone. <laughs> so we could talk about Bill all we wanted. No, I'm, I'm teasing, no. Um, I wouldn't. He's a really cool guy. So, um, yeah. And then after that, watched a movie. So, uh, yeah, it's been a really good day. Well, Felicity. Hey, Felicity. Hey. <laughs> yeah. She, um, she mentioned that, uh, uh, we've only just begun and then we start talking about that. So I actually went on YouTube and they had the Karen Carpenter story. Um, in there, uh, played by, you know, by actors, but, uh, it's a good story. I think it's pretty true to form. The only thing that isn't true was, I did read, that wasn't true. Um, cause they went back and they read it and, and researched it. When they first got, uh, it was called the magazine billboard when they were like, they became number seven. What was the movie or what was the, um, the song was, um. The one where they say, and golden starlight in her eyes so blue. Doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo. And then the Donna girls in town. Well, okay. <laughs> I forget. So anyways, they were, she, that was their first um, number uh, that it got up to number seven on the charts. And she, in the movie, she's reading it. She goes, Richard Carpenter and his, and his chubby sister, Karen. And I guess they're making it out in the movie that that's why she became anorexic. But they never, they looked it up. That was never said. So that was kind of inserted, you know, that was a little bit embellishing of, um, so I don't know where she got the anorexia from. Um, or where does anybody get it from? I don't know. But uh, probably I think what happens is they just, um, that's the only control they have. They feel that they own, that's the control they have. And um, so she just, you know. And take control. Everybody else had control of her. So, yeah. But it was a good movie. So, I watched that. And, um, then, oh, then I got out my orange collapsible, uh, it's more like a sink. And I soaked my feet. <laughs> I did. And for a good half hour, I was sitting there watching a the movie. I sit over there <laughs> on the thing. Let me see if you can see that little spot where my fan is I move the fan and I sit there and I'm leaning back so comfortable and I had the the um sink down there and so I uh soaked my feet did a little pedicure did a little manicure <laughs> yeah today was just getting things done I'm uh, getting myself caught up and um then I made some coffee and I didn't share it I'm sorry <laughs> And uh, now I'm talking to you, and I'm working on a video, so um, I want to do a few shout-outs. Yes. 
I want to do a shout out to George and Tina. Thank you guys for watching. Shout out to Mary Johnson and to Sweet Bear. Thank you. And a shout out to Terry Baldwin and Tracy Marie. Thank you guys so much. And I did reach 3,000 subscribers. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, it's going to go a lot higher, though. <laughs> Eventually it will. It's just a matter of time. I hope you enjoyed it. That uh, robot was pretty funny. Um, I know they were. I knew they were there, and probably a lot of you have already seen it. But I just never did. I've never seen one. As far as I knew, like in Tucson when I was there, they were still people were sitting on it, driving it, you know, back and forth to clean. But they have um, the robots going on here. So, but wasn't that funny that? It knew not to go down. You know how they have the arrows walk, go this way for social distancing. And then you go like this through the aisles. And then if you go into the one that you're not supposed to do, it's got the red circle. That robot, I was really shocked. That robot went down the, following the arrow. Wow. <laughs> was programmed that way, I guess. Yeah, that's the way computers are. You know, I mean, if you put garbage in, you'll get garbage out. So they put in the right stuff. Okay, enough. 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 <laughs> Love you guys so much. Mwah. See you tomorrow.